Good morning, fans. It's Eric Blackwelder with your August 31st update. Um, this is uh, going to be focused especially on you folks who are, uh, talk to me about investment properties. You know, of all the videos I've done, the ones that give me the most feedback are from you investors out there. So you folks are a, a lively crowd, and this is going to be good for you, so pay close attention. Now, um, many of us have kids that we'd like to send to college. And so a lot of folks will take money, a lump sum, when the child is born, put it into a stock fund, a mutual fund, uh, an annuity, whatever, and let it grow so that when the child turns 18 and goes to college, then you've got a college fund. Great idea. I think that's wonderful. I know my, my parents did that for my kids. And so, you know, grandma and grandpa chipped in right up front. Think about this, though. Instead of taking that lump sum and putting it into an annuity, you could put it into a piece of investment property, a house. Think about this for a moment. Go out, get a nice, inexpensive investment property in a good neighborhood where first-time buyers would typically buy if they could, but they can't, so they rent there. Okay, now... Put it on a 15-year mortgage. So you got a 20% down payment, because that's what you got to do on investment properties. 20% down, 15-year mortgage. That way, when your child goes off to college, there's the house is paid off, and you've got regular income coming in every month to help pay for the child's college education. Uh, and then... At some point down the road, if your kid is responsible, you can take that property, deed it over to them in their name, teach them about the fundamentals of running that house. You know, it's, it's a business. You've got income from the rent. You've got expenses that go out for things like taxes and insurance. You teach them how to put away money for carpet replacement every five years to get it painted every five years. Um, money is set aside for unexpected repairs, uh, things of that nature, so that they know how to take care of the house and it won't be a drain on them, but instead it will be an asset that they will carry and then eventually pass on to their children. So it's a great idea. I've had a number of folks who have done it. It works. You got to have that lump sum, 20% down payment up front. No, folks, don't don't send me a message about creative financing, um, because typically I don't find that it works out there. But anyway, this is Eric Blackwelder signing off. Have a great day, and look forward to seeing you on the next video. Oh boy, big. Th